Namaste. Now we are going to talk about the importance of spices and the condiments in Ayurveda. In Ayurveda, all the time that we eat, we start to reconstruct our digestive capacity. Just like the fire burning the wood, after some time you have to recharge this fire and in Ayurveda the spices play a very important role to be the uh, easiest way for this fire to uh, keep working. In a more biochemical way of thinking we can understand that uh, the ingestion of these, these spices will help our body to produce enzymes that are, are um, digestive, that are going to help our digestion. In Ayurveda, we use a lot of spices. I call them a group, the pizza spices, <laughs> the Mediterranean group, and the other group I call them the Indian group. Here in India it's not very common to people to put oregano and all these uh, uh, kind of soft uh, leaves and spices in the food. In Ayurveda they also play an important role. But the point is that in India, traditionally, it's more used like ginger, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, nutmeg, uh, cumin, turmeric. All these herbs in Ayurveda have specific uh, functions. Each one of them is more uh, better for this, uh, like black pepper is good for the lungs and all this kind of stuff. But the point is that when we are cooking in Ayurveda, we usually start the preparation of food with some good oil, like it can be sunflower, it can be, um, what's the name of the other, uh, olive oil, uh, it can be sesame oil. In your place, if you live in places that are as mustard oil, can be mustard oil, can be coconut oil, can be ghee, that is the... Uh, clarified butter oil. Usually in Ayurveda we use mainly this to cook. Not that it's uh, prohibited to use another. But these are more uh, traditionally described in Ayurveda. In one set we have coconut, ghee and sunflower oils. They are, tend to be more cooling in nature. They tend to produce uh, a decrease of temperature in our body uh, system. In the other side there is olive oil, there is sesame oil, there is mustard oil. Avocado oil would be around uh, the sesame oil also. These oils produce more heat in our body. So in an instance, if we use coconut oil to uh, enliven to heat ginger, the result, uh, the metabolic result, will be quite different if we use sesame oil and um, mustard oil. In the winter, we are going mainly to use the oils that are heating. Once again, mustard, then sesame, then olive oil, and uh, when it's hot, we are going to use the other oils that are decreasing the temperature. In the other uh, way there is um, coconut, there is ghee and sunflower. So we have these six traditional oils. Canola oil is not um, described uh, traditionally in Ayurveda but we can suppo suppose that it's warming. And we are going to put the spices in this oil uh, from the one that it takes longer to release the smell to the others that are more easily burnt. For our example, when we are going to prepare beans in Ayurveda, we put first the cumin seed and then we put uh, asafoetida, asafoetida, hing, and then we put turmeric as a general rule to produce, to prepare the beans. The beans usually we put in uh, warm water for half an hour and then we prepare 
we put this water out it we can change the water and then put uh, another water for the night long but the process of the first water it should be with warm water for half an hour after this we are going to take these beans that uh, their water is washed out we are going to take the sunflower can be uh, put the oil there to heat but not to it's not strong heat it's just like mild we are going to put first the cumin seeds and then we are going to put the asafoetida after it the cumin start to release its smell and then the asafoetida quickly after that the asafoetida is going to release its smell and we are going to put the turmeric and we are going to mix this quickly so it doesn't get burned and then we are going to put the beans we are going to uh, make them uh, to take this oil inside and then we are going to put water uh, some rock salt or some uh, pinky salt I don't remember rock salt usually it's said in English also and then we are going to put some bay leaves this will help the beans not produce gases. This way of producing spices, producing the food, is going to be everywhere in Ayurveda. When you produce, uh, when you're preparing beans, when you're preparing rice, the, the spices are going to change. But the procedure is always like this. We put the oil, we warm up the oil, and then we wake up the spices in this oil always following the line of reasoning the ones that are harder and the ones that are going to take uh, more time to release its smell it's going they're going first because all the smells are, will have to arrive together in the line so if one spice like black pepper that takes long it takes five and the other one just like turmeric takes one we are going to put the black pepper and then after four moments gone we are going to put the turmeric so they all get to the final uh, stop <laughs> they get to the final point together so uh, things like cloves black pepper um, what else nutmeg uh, things that are really harsh hard and uh, also they take long to release their flavor they are going to be in the beginning things that are very quick like turmeric maybe like asafoetida maybe like um, powders all the powders if we have the cumin in powder not in seed it's going to be in the end ginger if it's dry it's in powder it's going to be in the end so as a general you can think about this rule black pepper clove and then uh, coriander seeds, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, fresh ginger, um, cardamom, um, let me see what is lacking, oh fenugreek, fenugreek is a little bit pre previous. We are going to have different kind of uh, condiments and the leaves are going to be in uh, the end after we uh, prepare this first round so if you are going to prepare rice you can put some oil there to warm it can be some um, mustard seeds it can be some um, cardamom and when this flavor is arising we are going to put the rice there and mix it can be the rice, the millet, the oats, the barley, whatever and uh, we are going to heat this up and when the preparation is finished just like uh, the rice is finished or the barley is finished whatever we are going to put the other uh, pizza spices it can be oregano, it can be uh, peppermint it can be cilantro it can be all these herbs that are green and uh, thyme and can be put in the end because they are very aromatic and if they cook for a long time or if they go direct in the oil they get 
spoiled in the sense that some of their properties are lost. In Ayurveda, when you are going to prepare the chutney, we are going also to uh, make the same procedure. Uh, in Ayurveda, if we prepare the spices in this way, and uh, these are going to help our digestion to have good nutrition of the oils that are essential for our body and are healthy, but they are not going to be deeply fried. In Ayurveda, deep fried uh, foods are very troublesome for digestion. But we should always intake some oil with spices preparing the food so it gets easily uh, digested because these spices are uh, awakened and also we have the nutrients of these oils in our daily uh, meals. Okay. Each type of spices is going to be different for the body that needs to heat up or it needs to cool down or it needs to get, gain weight or lose weight and all that stuff. But the point is that these are going to be considered more uh, personalized in your consultation. You don't have to be, oh my god, there are so much details here and I'm lost. Don't worry, be happy. We are going to find out what are the best combinations for your case. We are going to make a specific kind of combinations of spices and masala for you. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, it's easy. It can be a little bit um, shocking in the beginning, but after some moments it's, it goes well. Okay? So if you need some more information about your case and this kind of stuff, just contact me at namaste.tiago at gmail.com and we can speak more. Okay? Nice to meet you again and uh, see you in the next video after you like, share and comment this video. Namaste. Mm -hmm.